Hey everybody, I'm Steven21967 and we are in the infected. And you know what? I was thinking about something I'd like to do based on some of the discussion going on in our posts. Somebody had mentioned that some players had created like kinda what uh, an animal farm? They had captured animals and were fencing, keeping them fenced in. And I thought, you know what, that might be cool to try to see if we can pull it off. Try to figure out how you do it. And then maybe over time see how many animals we can actually get in it. So let's knock down a bunch of trees. I think the plan will probably to create a fenced in area inside of my compound. And I'm not quite sure how big it should be. Let's see, 12 by 12 would be 24 by 24 by 36 by 36. I wonder if 24 by 24 would be big enough. Maybe, maybe not. So let's just knock down a bunch of trees right now. And we shouldn't have to worry about rope because we're getting tons of plant fiber that we can use for rope. And most likely one of the things we'll probably do is maybe occasionally when we see animals out past our fence over there maybe every once in a while we can remove the spikes that are in front of the gate open up the gate set up some fencing that leads from the gate to our animal farm or fenced in area and then set that up to bring animals inside let's see i don't really need this I can get rid of you. Okay. Let's start to set this down. I mean, we can expand. We could definitely expand later. Actually, let's... Let me see. I want to lead... No, do I really want to do it? So, I guess my question is, I wonder if animals um, in the game typically head for fence lines or if they go for gates i wonder if the logic in the game says wherever there's a gate an animal should maybe try to get to that gate yeah this may or may not be right let me let me let me do this one more time let me try this again let me first kind of set that up yeah that that might work and we're going to go backwards. Oh, we hit a tree. That'll set us off a little bit. Let's set that down. Set that down. You know, no, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't. Okay, that was that was a little little fast. I wanted to set up the fence so that it's um, set up the fence so that it's like maybe half height. Maybe a little less than that instead of having a full height fence. So let's just try that again. I gotta. All right, let me just go. That might be pretty close. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we got this set up. and how's that is that pretty good i wonder how low i can go because i don't think we have to worry about animals jumping over our fence i i truly don't see them doing that too much so we got that and that so that's not a bad size for a fenced in area uh, let's see. And hopefully this will be okay. Okay. And then one more. Okay, that's a decent size. Decent size fence. Yeah, this this is an interesting start. I might I might be okay with this. Yeah, I can hear a deer 
Sounds like he needs to get fenced in. That's what I'm hearing. What we might need to do to start this off is to have an area that's kind of open, but it's like when I did the, when I caught the Vambi, is we set on the area that's open enough so that they'll be able to go inside, but have some fencing available at that moment so that when they go inside, we can immediately close them and catch them right then and there. All right, so hopefully we did this right. We'll find out in a second if if I got this right or if I messed up. Uh, uh that's yeah, no, that kind of works. So that was on the outside. Oh, that's why that that was that because this was to the left of that, and that one is okay. That's fine. That's fine. We got we got something very promising here. So we need to start building this in. Yeah, we don't need to have our we don't need to have the fence all the way up. You know, when when we get the start we start filling this up with animals, we'll probably, you know, we might want to be able to have a petting zoo, you know. If anyone can pet the deer cuz you know the deer's going to freak out all the time. You know, he's not very domesticated. The pig will probably be the most prep friendly. We are definitely not going to put the fox or the wolf or the bear in there because I'm pretty sure those guys will eat our fence. And look at the deer. He's he's getting excited. He's like, you're building an, enc in, an encasement for me. Or, or, oh, I, do I get the right word? I don't think I have the right word. What am I trying to think of? <laughs> What's the word I'm trying to think of? All right, well, let's get some more. Keep going on this. All right, this is gonna take me a little time. I'm gonna bring you guys back when we get when we've further along when we're ready to try to get some uh, to get some animals inside of here. Okay, so I expanded by one each side so I can have a gate in the middle of each of these cardinal directions you know if you want to call this north south east west even if it's not facing that direction so now we need to put a gate in here let's see how far down can we go so i want the gate to open we want it to open inward or outward that's a good question if we we open it inward. Hmm. Trying to figure this out exactly. How is this going to do? So. Yeah, that will open inward. And then we can get. We can get down to right there. <laughs> so what I might have to do... Oops. Oops. What I might have to do is set another group of fences going out. So that we can direct them into into our fenced off area and then um, that way we would have multiple gates so you have a gate you have a fence line that leads into here like for example we'll set up some fences that lead into this I'm, I'm trying to get this made up as I go. I, I have the idea of what I think I need to do. Yeah, I'm not going to... We won't put this together yet until we have an idea. So what we might want to do is to set up um, a fence, you know, a path in here. So we'd have 
this. Something like this over here, and then you have a, another gate here. This could be all wrong. I mean, we're just trying to... I'm trying to make my best guesses about how I would do this. Always, yeah, extend it out to there. Okay, let's, before before we get too far, the plan would be, I, I, I have a wonder if having the fence, I mean, having a gate attracts the animals to the gate. It, it might work. So, I've seen this before when I looked at uh, animal fences that they typically will have a uh, couple set of gates. One to get the animals, funnel the animals in. You close that and then you open up the other one. So if anything's inside, it can't come back out while you're trying to get your animals in. Yeah, look at him. He's like, he's like, he wants, he wants in. He totally wants in. This guy totally wants to come in here. He's like, let me in. It's not fair. I, w I don't know what this thing is, but I, I want it. He probably, he probably is. Oh. That's <laughs> stupid. All right, so, um, I mean, it could be, yeah, we want, we want two sets of fences. One that'll get them within, within these, uh, within the very first set of fences. One gate and a set of fences to draw them in. And look at him, he's he's gone right in there. And then another set to um to open up the gate. So you open up one gate, you get the animal, coax the animal in somehow. Maybe the animals will just do it naturally. Cause they go for fences. Because the programming says animals go to fence lines. Or you know, you got the fence line anyway, the animal's gonna walk along it. Yeah, see, he's already stuck. He's already stuck inside, but... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, he figured it out. He figured it out. My guess, yeah, again, my guess is that what we're going to be able to do is set up, um... Set up a, a tier gating might be the best way to get animals inside here. Yeah. It, in all likelihood, it's just because he's trying to run through that area... And he's hitting the fence. And that doesn't mean anything. But my suspicion is the gate will maybe bring the animals to this area. If we have like a gate that they can walk inside. It's just, it's just my guess. I could be wrong. Anyway, I'm going to keep building on this. And I'll bring you guys back once we're ready. I think we'll um, set up. We'll get these first two gates set up. And then, um, yeah, so that's set up, so, okay. Oh, we can't, I can't even, I can't even see where the handles are because I put it so far in the ground. <laughs> can't see. Okay, so I think that this will open in. And I... Hope that that will help us prevent animals from getting out. So I maybe you know what? Before we get to this, here's what here's what we should do. Before we get to this, before we um, put all all that effort and time into it. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's let's just let's just do this. If it works, then we can break these out and, and replace them with gates very carefully because the animals are probably going to want to try to leave if we can get an animal in here. I mean, if we can get an animal in here, then that's great. But let's start off with at least one. All right. So that way we don't waste too much material. That Not only that, but I should probably, before we get too far, I should save my game and that way uh 
the materials that we spend. Well, you know, I have so much. I have an absolute. Do I? No, I am, am I out of rope? I'm out of rope. Okay, I'm out of rope. So yeah, I think. I definitely think that even if I'm going to end up spending, I mean, that's the copper that I'm mostly concerned, but I have so much of that. That's just ridiculous amount of copper. All right. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep building. And once we get these two gates done, we can test them out. I mean, one of the bummer things is once you set up the gate, you can't, as far as I can tell, you can't move it unless something changed and I missed it, which wouldn't be too unusual. It would be too unusual that maybe I missed a note like that. All right, I'll keep I'll keep going. Oh, I got I, that's right. I gotta get I gotta get some more rope. I gotta make some more rope. Okay, so we got these two these two gates set up halfway in the ground. So the plan would be to leave. So you'd have each you'd have. Uh, oh, he's so close. You're so close to it. I think, I think maybe, you know what, this should probably be on the inside. This should probably go the other way because we could have the deer get stuck. Yep, this is what you got to do, man. This is, uh, yep. I think we needed to go the other way with it. I think totally, uh, to get this to work, we have got to have, okay, that needs to face this way. And that way, that should open up inside. Yeah. How does it look like that? Maybe that's better. I don't know. You know what? You know what? Let's, nah. Let's just do it. Let's do it the similar way to the way the rest of this whole area is set up. So that's on the inside. That should open up inside. That should open in. Yeah, that should open in. Yeah, we wasted a little bit of materials. I, I think it's better that it opens in because uh, when they go inside, I, I think I've seen too many times I've had an open gate and seen the animal get stuck trying to go through it because they are on the side where they're trying to go inside, but they're hitting the door like, like this. So... They try to come in, but they're coming in from this angle and they're banging up against this or they're banging up against that. If we just turn this so it's the other way, then they won't be able, then they shouldn't hit up against, um, they shouldn't have problems. They shouldn't have problems just wandering in. And that's the, that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to get them to go inside where the gate is open because animals are coming in this way. They are not going to be coming out. If I can get them in there, man, you know, let's have let's have ourselves a little, you know, farm or uh, not a farm, but let's have some livestock. I I guess then after this we get this done and it's success successful, I might have to make a butcher house. I know it sounds so bad. I think I think two, yeah, two should be enough. Ah, it's getting late and I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna finish this last part. And we'll leave this open. So some of you might be saying, but you haven't finished it. No, I, I'm close. So what I'm hoping is get the get the deer in here somehow, some way. I would like them to go in through here. I would like them to go in here, hit this door, and be like, ah, what am I doing? Oh, then then we're gonna have a problem with that. Then we're going to have a problem with trying to get them through this. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, now I'm just... Ah. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. What do I think of these things after the fact? After I've built it. After I put all the time and effort into it. Oh, my God. Why do I do this to my... Why do I do this to myself? We're going to go to bed here in a moment. I just, I just need to get this. I need to get this done. Okay, that's the okay, so that's inside. Good. Okay, it should we should oh uh, I clicked that way too fast. So and some of you might say, ah, oh, it's kinda ugly when you do it like 
this thing. And you're like, don't do this thing. And then I think, you know what, you're kind of right. And then I got to tear it down again and make it a full size gate. Yeah, that deer wants to go in there, man. He does. He wants, he totally wants to go inside of our, inside of this whole area. Um, okay, we need, we need just one more big tree. Let's get one more tree and then two more, uh, copper. And then we're going to go to bed. We'll leave this gate open. All right, two copper real fast. Real fast. I know it's getting late. Everyone's like, it's time for bed. It's almost 10 o'clock. I used to go to bed. I got to work tomorrow. It's like, okay, 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 okay. We're, we're getting there. I'm going to have to make some more copper after this because all my goof, goof ups. Because I can't seem to make a decision. Get it done right the first time and not waste resources. That's just not the way I go. So yeah, the hope is... What I would like to see is for, what I want to see is an animal to get inside. That's, that's the right way. That's the way we want it here. I think that'll be a lot better. And then once we get an animal in here, I'm going to click, click quickly close this off because I have rope. All right. I think, uh, let's go, let's go get some sleep and get back in the morning. Okay, it's morning. And we have a deer over here. He's right over here. Let's just see if we can drive him. Okay, that's not right. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, come on. A little right. A little bit right. A little bit. No, not. Oh, that was too late. That was too late. You went too late. You went too late. Bam, bam, Bambi. Go, go. This could take me a little while to try to get this little guy in there. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I could. I could just move this. Oh, oh. Oh, we're so close. We we are so close. We are so close. And now this is my next step. Is to take one of my gates outside of my compound. Set up fencing that directed into my closed off area. That's a little weird. That's a little weird. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, and that might be what we do is just leave that open and watch it and see if something will walk in. We can close the door on it and have it inside here. Yeah, I'm not, I keep, I keep having this deer that's in my compound go in here when I'm not looking. And then when I come back, cause I'm working on it, he'll, I'll see him in there and then he'll run out. So I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm not quite sure yet how we're going to get this to work. So this might be like a two-parter. So you put it together and then, and then we see if we can get it to work at all. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that might just be it. That might just be it for right now. We just get this set up. We have the beginnings of, uh, <laughs> of um yeah an animal farm fence line something set up for the animals and hopefully we can get some animals inside of here so we can have some stock all right well that's just that's just going to be it we got this all sense set up we just have to wait to get some animals in here so that'll be it for this video so um, if you guys like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You get alerts when I come out with new videos. And as always, comment how many of you have actually tried 
You said that some other people have tried setting up livestock fences. Fences. So have any of you tried? How successful were you? Does it look like I'm on the right path if you did set this up? Or maybe do you think I have this kind of done in the wrong way? All right. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later, dudes.